And welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Super Mario RPG. Here we are still in Bowser's Keep, ready to move on after getting through those six doors. Hey, Magic Koopa, you'll help us, right? Wait, what? No! Ah, oh, crap. Now we have to fight Magic Koopa. He comes with 1,600 hit points, so he's not that easy. And unfortunately, he doesn't come alone. This little guy has a tendency of casting nasty spells, like Blast. 129 damage. Damn. Princess, heal him up. Uh, might as well do a group hug, I guess. Bowser needs it, too. Go heal the two men in your life. You know you like Bowser. Why else would you let him kidnap you all the time? Magic Koopa summons out. It's a lucky fail. And he gives us Jinx. Crap, we have to fight as Jinx clone. Ah, I blocked it. This is not as strong as the normal Jinx. He can also summon a uh, thing like a giant bomb, called a King Bomb, where he can summon a uh, Bahamut, like you would fight against the Chester. But And you can't attack Magic Koopa until you destroy the guy he summons. Flame Wall should not be too much trouble. That, that Lazy Shell is amazing on Peach. Why did I attack with her? Why didn't I heal? I'm not that low on health. And he goes down. Mostly, pretty much physical attacks will do short work of him. But you just gotta keep hitting him. We did not get much out of that. But Peach reaches level 26. What can I boost furs? I... I believe the magic attack and magic defense helps, but... Helps her healing, but I don't know. Let's boost her hit points. I've gone all this time not knowing whether boosting her magic actually helps her healing. It says magic attack, but that's not technically an attack. I uh, made it back here somehow, but it seems to have been brainwashed or something. Because he was red before, and now he's blue. I guess brainwashing dyes your clothes. Watch this. Ooh, look a la Koopa. Oh, golden treasure chest. Magic treasure that never runs out of coins. Awesome. Well, no. You get one coin every time you hit it. So yeah, you could stand here and hit it for two hours or so and maybe max out your coins, but what's the point of that? All that, and I only got 20 coins out of it. Which is really not enough to buy anything. But if you talk to this guy afterward, he'll heal you, which is pretty nice. And if you go in here, you can find Croco again. Just remember, I can't always be coming to your rescue, you know. Well, yeah, thanks, Croco. What, what do I need? I need some. I'm gonna need some. I can't buy any of those. I'm gonna buy some new armor for everybody, except for the royal dress, because I'm gonna keep Peach with the lazy shell. The lazy shell does drop your attack power considerably, but since I'm not gonna be attacking with her, uh, I'm just gonna keep it on her, because the defense boost is way more important, because she's my healer. I don't want her dying, obviously. So I'm just gonna equip this stuff, and I will be back. Okay, I equipped everybody, bought a couple of items, and why is Croco looking at me? Okay, that was kind of creepy, Croco. Anyway. Uh, let's go back and save real quick. Boing. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go into the right door. And we have another action stage, sort of. All these swamps are gonna fall, and if they land when you're on the ground, you're gonna get stunned, so... And if you run into one of these bullets, you'll end up fighting a couple of big griffins. Might be two, might be one. Really not much trouble either way. But with Peach equipped with a lazy shell, she is not going to be much use in battle. And I still can't block that damn thing. Yeah, 
69 to attack. I was blaming it on her before, but it was because she was wearing the lazy shell, really. You can actually be pretty strong if you don't give her that. If you give her her regular attack or give her like an amulet or something, she can actually be pretty strong with a flying pan. Oh, barely dodged that. And not that one. Okay, that was just a single big Bertha. God damn it. Hi. Gonna avoid the rest of them. Where the hell are they even coming from? There's no cannon over here. Not fair. Look at the door, Mario. Oh, this is looking familiar. Ah. Who the hell? Ah, so you are the notorious Mario. I'm impressed you made it this far, but think I didn't think you could. Oh, feisty little fellow, aren't you? But this is the end of the line. Now you've got to deal with me. On guard! He reaches for his sword. Who is this guy? This is Boomer. 2,000 hit points on this guy, so be ready for a long battle. Although, unlike the combat against, against the original... Unlike the original battle against Bowser, you're not gonna be fighting the Kinklinks or those shy guys that are hanging on to the chandelier. No, they're just there for decoration. Drill Claw. Wow, he has a really high defense. What can I... what can she do? Let's see if Rock Candy does any good against him. 200 damage, not bad, and I get a freebie, so there is no point in not doing that. I have a bunch of rock candies. At this point, you should, you would do well to use your attack abilities and your special things you've been picking up, like your Kara Kara Colas, Red Essences, anything to make this easier, because there's really nothing to do afterward. Wow, I should not have attacked with her. And now he's changing color. Great. Now we can cast a attack called Shaker, which is almost like Jinx's silver bullet. Basically, it drops your health down to one, even if you block it. And I got another freebie. Awesome. I am lucky today. Near as I can tell, there is no way to force the freebies like pressing the button at the right time. Near as I can tell, it is purely random. Although with Taz's, they do get freebie every single time. And the Shaker missed Mario, that's good. Rock Candy again, Peach. And that destroyed him! Awesome! Arrgh. Sad music, what? I can't be defeated by them! I won't let this happen! I won't fall in battle! <coughs> Having an attack! <coughs> I don't need your sympathy. I am a soldier. I am prepared to go. Take a dive, Chandeli Ho. The hell? Chandeli Ho? What kind of a name is that? Later, kids. Is he gonna throw a sword up here now? No. Alright, Mario. I'll lead you to the top. Uh, thanks, I guess. Why, though? Aren't you one of the enemies? Up we go. And they give us the Midas River music. Are they dancing, or what are they- What is going on here? Increasing speed! Stop the top floor. Wait a sec, there are no seat belts. Ah. And that ends the battle for us. <laughs> and it sends us right into the next battle without a chance to heal. The battle against the sword. This is Exor. It is a four-part boss, so it consists of Exor. Neo Squid and the left and right eyes. I don't know why the mouth is called Neo Squid, but you'll want to destroy that because that thing is freaking powerful. 
It's gonna be casting some nastiest spells on you. Like static E. Diamond Saw. Peach, uh, heal us. No, don't, um, yeah, he, group hug time. I want to keep everybody high on health. I want to keep them all high on life. And he goes slack-jawed because he just killed his mouth. The mouth does not have that many hit points. Neo Squid only has 800 hit points, but he has some nasty attacks like Aurora Flash, uh, Lullaby, Solidify, and Carney Kiss. Corona's also pretty bad. Once you destroy the mouth, I believe it will come back after a while, but now you want to destroy one of the eyes. It doesn't really matter which one, I don't think. Uh, why don't you do your... Well, we got him. Why not use him? Rock Candy time. Once you destroy one of the eyes, then you can just then you can start hitting Exor. That didn't do shit. Your gunk ball sucked. Exor himself has 1,800 hit points, so you want to be focusing on him whenever you can. Uh, Peach, uh, let's get a psych bomb in here. Let's see if that does anything good. Wow, that sucked. I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm doing about 100 damage, damage each time, 100 and some change. It took about, I don't know, 16 attacks to destroy it. It's not gonna last the whole time. Let's get our rock candy in here to uh, hedge our bets. Let's try a firebomb, see what that looks like. Bad. And the protection is gone because I destroyed the other eye. And it's gonna be staying uh, unguarded for a while. But Neo Squid's back, great, just what we didn't need. Uh, let's do a group hug, because Mario is poisoned. I don't know, he's still taking damage and shit. Rona. No! The attacks in this game are weird. Three of them are left. Uh, let's drop an ice bomb on him. And we got a freebie. Awesome. again. There it goes. Unfortunately, he's protected again now. Oh, sure, you can get the multiple jumps, but I can't, and now Bowser is dead. Great. Uh, Princess, use your comeback on him. Come back, Bowser. I don't want you dead. Who else will abduct me? I know the eye is protecting Xor. I need to keep hearing that. Mario, uh, you don't need to do anything. Take out one of the eyes. Venom drool. That's gonna do poison, isn't it? This is gonna hit Mario. Poison with no damage. Don't hit Bowser, don't hit Bowser, don't hit Bowser. Peach. That's fine. Deals one damage to her. Uh, don't use one of yours. Use your use a Kara Kara Cola as well. Got like 20 of them. Big source protection is gone. How long is the mouth gonna be down there? Or destroy extra all we can. 
Why did I do that? Peach. He's attacking me with his eyes, people. I would love a sword that looks like that. Just put that on my wall or something. That would look awesome. Peach, use a... Use your star egg. Yeah. 100 damage on everybody is not bad. Better than what she can do on her own. Better than Psych Bomb, and it's faster. Or at least less intensive. Get another attack in an XO over the eyes come back. Oh, I think I destroyed him. Oh, yeah. Who's the winner? What the hell? But no, no. Don't do that. I don't want to go into the mouth. Ah! 